Well, it's the final day. <clears throat> They're gonna come, I think I've got a week to pull, come and pull the signage down. Um, they've been coming back of a night. Uh, it's staying late. We're working over the weekends to pull more stuff out. I just spent yesterday pretty much cleaning up. Um, no steering going in here. Alarm's off, we don't know that screaming in our ears. Um, they're gonna come and take this fridge away. The um, brake tester and what have you. All the stuff's gone off that shelving there. <clears throat> All the stock's gone out of here. Uh, yeah, pretty empty there, just a few papers and they're gonna, I'll have to clean that stuff up. Uh, everything's gone. It's just empty in there. That's where we had the press. That's where we had the big bench, obviously, when they painted this, or the, the previous, when Ray painted this up. They did a good job of that. This room that we had all the filters and other stock. The big cabinet we had here, lock-up cabinet, I took home. All up here, all the time machines, all the oil drums, all gone. He's got another week to get this out. I've been helping him out, well, he, he tries hard, but I repaired that up there, that big dent in that bit. That's not bad there, I did that yesterday for him. And this was all caved in in here. This, this mud guard was caved in in here. That's not bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's all going. This room here. This is where we had all the bat or batteries and stuff used to be in here. Motorcycle batteries and stuff, I mean. <clears throat> all the radiators are all gone from upstairs. Um, and downstairs, we had radiators all through here. Now we're going to leave the spray booth there because it goes up through the roof. So we'll leave that there. Uh, everything that had tin, everything that had metal, uh, that bench is going to stay there. We had a radiator station and stuff in there. We don't own the bottle, so that stays. I think they were going to take this rack. I'm not sure, but they did take the rack off the upstairs up there. All the batteries are gone. And you know, there's a time when you've got second-hand tyres that people just, like... These are, these are tyres that you could quite easily get your car registered on. You give them away, or you try to give them away, nobody wants them. They're all sizes. Big, skinny, big fat ones. Uh, what else? Oh, battery chargers and stuff used to all be in here, all gone. The forklift is going today. Got a thousand dollars for that. Well, just open up out the back here. Rust rubbish and stuff everywhere. That's um, about the third bin of that. We had two of, two of scrap, and you're probably saying, oh, but you're, look at it, you're tossing out. It's all old shit, it's just rubbish. And these exhausts, these have been sitting upstairs for probably, I couldn't tell you how long. Um, all the benches, all that sort of stuff, what it wasn't going, got chopped up. Um, this, 
crafter van. <coughs> Belongs to one of the managers. And I was backing it out the other day and I caught the bin. The mud guard. <laughs> so I'll knock that out and fix that up for him. He's gonna get the thing painted anyway, so. We're doing a bit of panel work too. Hmm. Old tyres and whatever. That's it. That's it. It's an officer ray up there, that old golf buggy charger. And a golf club, golf buggy batteries, so special batteries. Yep. I think those racks are there going. I think those racks there are going. They've all gone to a different place. They're, 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 re, they're pretty much establishing this place here, but uh, down south. They couldn't find a place nearby here. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today. Don't know. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the end of this place for me. Yeah, I'd like to say some good memories, but you know, the guy I worked for was a dick. It's hard to put up with. A Lebanese bloke. Did I tell you the reason? This is not only that. Not only that there's not a lot of traffic around, like usually this would be just flat maggot with, with vehicles, there's a couple of trucks here and there and vans, all workers' trucks, you can't get around really really around the place, so other than there's you know, lack of traffic so you're not getting work, people don't need to drive their cars, they don't need to have tyres, they don't need batteries, they don't need services if they're not driving their cars around, so... Um, that and the Lebo landlord put the rent up. I just can't make that money, so I'm not here anyway. Oh, scummy old shithole. See you later.